Today we're learning how to make this Dune inspired presentation. So everything you see in it, the icons, the graphs, the numbers, the animations will all be included. Let's start from a blank slide, add a background image and letter D. Let's go for a monster that's here in white and make it extra bold. Right click format and add a drop shadow to it, a drop shadow to the right. Increase the blur, transparency and the distance a little bit. Copy that letter and create variants for Dune. And then let's shift the letters in front of each other. So we create a nice drop shadow on the other letters. Duplicate the slide and let's create some color palette for this presentation. So go to shape fill and then the color picker and then pick some colors from that image. This way we create a nice color palette. On the next slide, let's add a gradient with the lighter colors and then copy the color palette. It's a nice style effect that we create. Next, let's copy the image and go to crop, crop ratio one to one, and then turn it into a circle. So crop to shape to a circle. That looks nice. Let's add some text to this slide, decrease the font size and make it brown and maybe also a subtitle. Align everything to the right and then let's duplicate everything to the right side and do the same over there. Duplicate the slide, delete what we don't need and crop to shape and let's turn this into a rectangle shape with the mountain in the middle. Delete the parts we don't need and let's create some text boxes on the left and on the right side we're going to add a darker rectangle with some icons. So you can go to insert icons and then select a few icons. Let's go for a sun, sunglasses, and maybe also a temperature. You can fill them with one of the colors from our palette and then align them to center and distribute them evenly. Let's maybe also add a sort of a title or a text box next to it. That's always nice. Let's duplicate the slide once more and create the graphs. So play around with the text a little bit, create some variation and then draw some rectangles for the graphs. Let's go for a combination of two each time, maybe a comparison of the years with a lighter and a darker bar chart. For the background, we want to add a small line and we want to duplicate that line about four or five times, spread it across the graph. You can just option or alt track. Right click align and distribute vertically to make the even spacing between the lines and group them together and center it. Let's create the slide from the 90%. So go for a rectangle, turn it brown and add a text box with 90% on the top of it. Select both the rectangle and the text, shape format, merge shapes and subtract. And this way we see that the 90% is cut out of the rectangle. Now we want to add some shapes behind it. So let's do it up front first in blue to make it clear. Shape format, edit points and create some sort of a curvy line into that. Let's do this three times with different colors to make it clear. We can just flip it or create a new rectangle or create a new curve shape. Now select all three and give them a different color. So one of the shades from the color palette that we have a darker to the front and then send them all backwards. Here we can see the desired effect that we want. Duplicate the slide and then go to the first slide again and drag the shapes from behind, drag them all the way down. Then we want to add a morph transition to the second slide. The white is a little bit harsh, so let's create a beige background and do the same on the second slide and preview. That is the desired effect. Now we're going to add some text to it. So copy it from the previous slides, distribute it as you want, make the font a little larger and also add a title. Copy these onto the first slide and drag them outside of the screen so the morph transition can really do its thing. Now we have the slides. Select the other slides and add some transitions to the slides as you want. I'm going for a push transition and increase the time to about two seconds per transition. Let's preview.
Now you know how to make this beautiful presentation on your own and you can really customize it as you want. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you liked the video. Make sure to like and subscribe and hope to see you in the next one.